Sunset and Laurel Canyon, which is really busy now, they're still looking for the suspect. So the victims in this are really afraid. They don't want their name out there, but they are sharing their story with us because it's something we all need to listen to. He went like this, and then brandished, and I saw when he pulled it back, I saw the, the gun metal. It Describing the shooting during a road rage incident that ended up at the Chevron station off Sunset Boulevard. John was in the pickup with his wife and had just made a left off Hovenita Canyon Road during the afternoon rush hour. All of a sudden, I got this guy hauling around the corner going really fast, and I guess he didn't like the fact that I pulled out in front of him, which I didn't cut him off. He says the other driver followed him down Laurel Canyon. Got in front of me and slammed on his brakes to a full stop. And then he took off sideways, slammed on his brakes again, did it multiple times, going back and forth and each time trying to get me to, to slam into him. At that point, I backed completely off of him. The two vehicles came to a stop together up the road from the Chevron. More FU and back and forth. And all of a sudden, he, my wife says, I think he has a gun. So I punched the gas, turned the wheel, and as soon as I did that, pop! And, I, and he shot at me. It went in through my uh, extra cab door, went through the back seat, and then hit her in the back of the shoulder right here, came forward, bounced around through these bones, and then did a beeline straight through her lung. She's hospitalized with doctors telling John she will make it, but they will not be able to remove the bullet. They have her on medications to help her. And, uh, sorry. This is really hard for you. Yeah. It's hard for the surf-themed artist who prides himself on keeping his cool. I, I don't know why I got pulled into that argument. I normally am on a, more of a spiritual higher level and uh, avoid that stuff. But I did, and now I'm dealing with this. Now, driver description, the suspect, male, mid-20s, medium to dark skin, but you can see freckles on his face. He has curly hair and a light-colored mustache and a goatee. As to the vehicle, there's a picture there of one that looks just like it, a Jeep Cherokee, uh, in that bluish-gray color, model 2015 to 2023, with a very you know notable tail lights a square with an x type and they have tinted windows information is also on our website at foxla.com also a gofundme for this family because they really cannot afford they can't even afford to fix a truck let alone what's coming to them in medical bills i'm christina gonzalez live in west hollywood back to you in the studio wow what a story christina thank you